if I made you yawn, hit the like button. But if you didn't yawn, let me know by hitting the like button. Welcome back guys. Today, Wednesday, another puzzle. I didn't upload a video this week because uh, honestly, I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling it. But today I am feeling this. This is a puzzle by Dan Alterman, who uh, you might know, who's We've solved what, this is the fourth of his puzzles. Dan being an army veteran, found his passion and hobby in creating uh, really cool puzzles, handcrafted. And some of these are for sale, I'll link below, but they do sell out quick and sometimes they sell out before I even publish a video, which is good on you, Dan. This is known as Toasted. It is a level nine toaster puzzle. How cool does that look? I always love puzzles that are like an ordinary object, whether it's a radio or Another radio, I don't know. But I think it's really cool that he, he does this and I wholeheartedly support him and I can't wait to get to solving this. So level nine should be pretty difficult. It's got like a combination lock, all sorts of cool things going on. And it looks legit, looks like a toaster. It's even got a little toast in it. So without any further ado guys, if you're not already subscribed, and I know half of you aren't, uh, hit that subscribe button, notify yourselves for my, my, the back. And let's get right into it. Let's go. Here we go, the toaster puzzle. <laughs> This thing looks cool. Uh, again, another puzzle by Dan Alterman. It comes with uh, this little piece of paper, which reads, Decipher puzzle, level nine, toasted. I can't find the right setting to toast my bread. Can you help? Decipher the combination, toast the bread, claim your prize. External tools and excessive forcing are prohibited. Good to know. This is the toast. All right. A little stale, might be some, might be rye. Okay, so this, Let's show you all sides of this here. So there's this side here, that says toast. I guess I gotta get the lever down, not moving. We've got this side here with this little thing, as well as a combination. I noticed when I move this, this also moves, and it's got a three digit combination. Over here, we've got a drawer for the crumbs that doesn't extract. And over here, we have another one of these little round things, that, which I don't know what, what that does. We'll get to that first. Let's have a look inside. So in there, as you can see, there's some, there's like a piece of paper in there with something, maybe the prize, as well as whatever's stopping this from going down. So let's have a look. Um, okay, we made some progress over here on this thing when we were turning it around. It's kind of randomly spinning here. That doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Uh, one thing I will do is probably take this off because I've done one of Dan's puzzles before and he did have one of these little knobs that unscrewed, so that might be well worthwhile. Oop. A tool. And I'm guessing this tool might fit here. It does. Oh, and there we go. We've now uncovered a little metal thing. Oh, well, it's a magnet, but it uh, doesn't do anything. Okay, all right. On the other side, there was also, maybe this works for this side as well. Toast it. Toast it. So, again, another magnet. Oh, there's a number nine, by the way. There's a number nine. Okay. Is there another number here somewhere? Interesting. Why these holes? Why these holes? Oh, maybe I put it here and it reveals a certain number of letters. A, A, B, nine. 
or AB9 seems like the only A B nine A E nine, sorry, A E nine. A is one, E would be A B C D E five one five nine. Can you try that out? One five nine. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that comes down. Okay. So let's toast the toast here. Toast is in. Maybe this now opens. Yep. Something's stopping it there. Something is definitely preventing that from extracting. How cool is that that we've already deciphered the, uh, the combination? By the way, very cool way of getting a combination. Uh, with these holes. I mean, I figured that out pretty quickly. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> pretty proud of that. And we've got like a, got something blocking it there. How do we get that to not block it? There's a, there's like this rod and a pin and the pin is, is stopping right around here. I don't know if I'm supposed to rotate that pin. Okay, I'm not gonna get in there with my hand because that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like I should. Decipher the combination, toast the bread, claim your prize. I have toasted the bread. Yet something's still blocking. I don't want to pull any harder because that will break. What am I missing here? Definitely missing a step. I've, I've deciphered, I've toasted, and I've yet to claim my prize. Hmm, interesting. That should be good to go. Something's stopping. I think the, the prize might be blocking itself here. I do think the prize is, I think the prize is blocking this thing. I think this should slide out normally. Yeah, there it is. So the prize is actually holding everything back. And there you have it. So that should have been down there. And for uh, whatever reason, uh, this box of playing cards was stuck like this. And that's what was uh, jammed. Let's look at the inside of this thing. That's pretty cool. Look at that. So again, oh, and it's spring loaded. So he's got some spring over there, as you can see. As you see the combination lock here, let me turn this here, see this? So that stops, that stops it from going down. So if I held this here, that would not go down. It would be stuck. And then as soon as I turn this, now that's allowed to go down and I can lock it into place and that should have slid out uh, effortlessly. It did not because of the the deck but if you did not have the deck in there let's say so let's say just the toast we'll get the toast in there boom now it would have came out effortlessly so it was it was just uh, probably due to shipping the deck flipped up but other than that i mean i solved that pretty quickly wouldn't you say that was so that might have been a level nine uh for some people for me that was very very easy i found it very easy just because of uh because of this here i mean i honestly if if the combination didn't give me these letters or if it gave me it or if, you know what i mean if something would have went up there I, I wouldn't have figured that out that would have been uh this was a really nice touch I'm trying to think of how he could have made it a little bit more tricky for me but uh, i feel like maybe i just stumbled my way into that uh very cool i love the mechanics of this puzzle i think it's a great puzzle and i love uh i love the deciphering aspect of it i mean i think it's always cool when you have you know some da vinci code deciphering to do. I think more puzzles should actually use that decipher technique. There's an interesting reason why I put the nine there because you're thinking, oh, it's a level nine. That's why the number nine is over here. And that's what kind of, but I, I guess it was the orientation of the letters that really allowed me to figure that out. So there you go, that goes back here. So how would I lock it again? There, 
So as long as that's locked up upright, that does not go down and the toast is saved. This goes back and that is it for the toaster puzzle. And this is the deck of cards we were given. Look at this beauty. This little embossing on that. Thank you so much, Dan. I will cherish these and they will go into my collection. Beautifully done. Hot dang, we got it. This is it, that was it, that was the puzzle. And this, uh, is, it, it, this is a prize, check this out. A cool deck of cards. I think we might as well just open this. I haven't done a deck review in a long time. Maybe that's something I'll do in the future. This is the, wow, I did not expect that. Look at the back of these cards. That is the back of the cards. Check that out. Very strange. And the faces look like this. Why the green? I almost thought like that would be interesting. I don't know, cool deck. Not, uh, maybe not my cup of tea. Maybe not my cup of tea. Definitely, uh, definitely nice if you're taking photos. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. That was a really cool puzzle. Solved it a lot quicker than I thought I would because I'm a lot smarter than I think I am. <laughs> if you disagree, hit the like button. But if you don't disagree, let me know by hitting the like button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.